yeah so this is day 2 of uh, system develop so in this session we will start with the concept called data types we will see what are all the data types which are present in system develop data types in sp okay so i hope you are aware of uh, verilog so in verilog what are all the data types which we are having any idea anyone can answer this question what are all the data types which are present in verilog anyone yes yes correct so the two main data types i want to discuss which are registers and wires right so these are the two main data types which are present in verilog okay this belong to verilog now what are all the values this registers and wires can hold what are all the type of values they can hold any idea yes correct so they can hold 0 1 x z so these are the possible values uh which these values can uh, sorry which this are uh, data types can contain so how many values are there these are four so that's why these are called as four state data types or four state data types is it clear so there are four values 0 1 x and z so these are also called as four state data types and also we have a uh, reg wire integer and we also have time like this we have so on some real so these are all four state data types so these are all these are all come under the category four state data types right so in verilog we have only this type of data types four state data types right now in case of yeah so in case of uh, system verilog coming to system verilog we will be introduced to new data types first one is called logic data type first one is called logic data type this is also a four state data type i hope uh, the definition of four state data type is clear first one is called logic and second and next uh, data types which are new in the system verilog or enum basically this is a two state data type enum is a two state data type and next is um type def so it is also a data type and coming to next we have structures and classes so these are the following data types which we have in system verilog okay so we'll discuss one by one what are this logic enum type def wait a minute one minute yeah these are the possible data types uh, which we have in system verilog logic data types which is a four state data type and enum data type which is a two state data type type def structure and classes we have so what is this two state data type anyone can answer what is this two state data type how many type how many values can it store yes so two state data type can only store two values 0 and 1 so that's why it's called two state data type okay now let's discuss about this logic data type in detail so basically uh, before going into logic data type let's come back to this very log in very log let's say uh, if we have declared some module example with some register let's say reg a and reg b and let's say wire c okay 
So if I want to assign any value to this register, how can I assign? What is the way I can assign? Any idea? No, no, this is register, right? We cannot use assign statement for registers. Anyone, any idea? So, yes, always block or procedural blocks. So the values of these registers can only be assigned through procedural blocks like always or initial, right? For example, you can use always begin a is equal to zero b is equal to 0 and or also you can use initial a is equal to 0 right and for wire how to assign any value yes assign key okay so for Assigning any value to wire, we will use the assign keyword. Assign C is equal to 1 or 0 anything okay. and ending the module. Okay. So then what is the use of this uh, logic? Since we have registers and wires, what is the use of this logic? So for this small example only, sometimes we will get confused like what type of procedural should I use? whether should I use always or whether should I use initial or whether should I use assign. So sometimes we will get confused. So to avoid that confusion only, SV introduces a new type of data type which is called as logic. Okay. So this type of data type is similar to registers only. So basically if a variable is declared with this type of logic uh, data type, then it can be used to it can be used both in continuous assignment statements as well as this procedural assignment statement. Procedural assignment, sorry, this is continuous assignment statement. And it also can be used in procedural assignment statements. Okay, so if you want to assign any value to registers, you are using a procedural assignment statement. And if you want to assign any value to wires, you are using continuous assignment statements. So if you have declared any variable as logic, then you can assign anywhere. You can use a procedural assignment statement to assign the value or you can also use a continuous assignment statement to assign the value. For example, let's see this. So if you declare any module example underscore two, and if you have declared logic A, logic B, wire C reg D okay so okay we will we'll start with this reg so how to assign this value we, we should only use procedural assignment statements right initial D is equal to 0 with logic you can use any assignment statement I will use here also I can use here also A is equal to 0 okay right in between begin and end Next, if I have a wire, then how to assign this? How to assign the value? Using a continuous assignment statement assign C is equal to 0. But I have declared one logic also. I can use the continuous assignment statement also. Assign B is equal to 0. Okay. So if you declare any variable as logic data type, you can assign the value using the procedural assignment statement or you can also declare you can store the value using the continuous assignment statement is it clear the purpose of logic
so there will be no confusion at all you can use any type of assignment statement it may be continuous assignment or procedural assignment or two types of one two types of uh, assignments only continuous and procedural so you can use any of them for assigning the value is it clear the purpose of logic is it clear i hope it is clear now so coming to synthesizable so basically this regs and wires are synthesizable constructs right these are synthesizable and this logic data type is also synthesizable this is also synthesizable and it can be used for both combinational and sequential logics okay so this is about logic data type is this clear and log uh, yeah one more thing so what is the default value of register any idea anyone yeah so the default value of register is unknown default value of reg is or not similar to reg the default value of logic is unknown okay so this is this is a similarity similar to reg logic will also have the initial value as unknown okay yeah and logic is also a four state data type four state data type so this is about logic data type i hope the explanation is clear about the logic data type yeah. now now let's discuss another data types which are known as two state data types so basically these two state data types can only store two values which are zero as well as one so let's see some examples of this two state data types which are bit byte and we have int short int long int yeah so these are the possible two state data types so what values will all this have this may have zero or one okay now let's discuss about one by one briefly so coming to this bit it can store two values zeros or ones okay it can store any single value zero or one coming to byte and is this signed or unsigned anyone so is the bit data type signed or unsigned obviously it's unsigned right yeah obviously it's unsigned with with a single bit how can you decide whether it is a signed or unsigned so bit is an unsigned data type okay now next one is byte data type okay so one byte is how many bits eight bits yes one byte is 8 bits so if you declare any variable as byte let's say byte a then a can store how many bits 8 bits 8 bit value a can store okay so if you any if you if you declare any variable as byte a so a can store 8 bit value okay and whether it is signed or unsigned so it is basically signed okay so this byte data type is signed 
so it can it will store eight bit signed data or value okay next coming to next type of data type which is short int and this byte what is the uh, uh, what are all the values it can have zeros or ones okay now coming to this short int basically this short int can store 16 bit value and this is also signed 16 bit signed integer okay it will it can also have zeros and ones and coming to next int data type which is 32 bit it can store 32 bit values okay and it is also signed similarly long int is 64 64 bit signed okay it can also store zeros and ones okay so these are all these are all the uh, two state data types which are present in system bedlock. So here comes the question. What happens if we give x or high impedance value to this two state data type? Let's say if I have declared bit a, this is a a is a two state data type and if I am assigning a is equal to unknown, then what will be my value? whether it may be 0 or it may be 1 or it may be unknown or it may be high impedance. Any idea? So, if you try to assign unknown value or high impedance value, automatically it will be converted to zero. Okay. So, if you try to assign any unknown value or high impedance value to this two-state data type, it will convert that into zero. Okay. So, that is about two-state data types and uh, yeah, we will continue the rest topic in next session. Okay. So this is about today's session. So in this session, we have started with the data types in system bedlock. Like we have we have started with four state data types, Rex wires, and we have discussed about logic. What is this logic? And uh, two state data types like bit, byte, short int, long int. Yeah. So this is about this session. Thank you. So if you are having any doubts, you can stay and ask, or else we can end the session. Thank you.